what's up guys it's Rosa and welcome to my channel it's been a while since I sat down and made such a video and I must sincerely say I missed it I hope you missed me too thank you so much for tuning in again and uh, yeah hello <laughs> I'm a married woman now and um, it's important for me to say that marriage is for me not like an accomplishment it's a rather um, a life transitioning process which everyone has a right to choose or to refuse. So in my opinion, I think in this rite of passage, you can choose not to want to and you can choose to want to. No one is, um, is allowed to force you into marriage and no one is allowed to stand on your way if you want to get married and uh, for me <laughs> since my childhood i've always wanted um, to get married for me it was like the most beautiful rite of passage there is in this life and uh, i'm so happy uh, right now uh, <laughs> more so that it took place in 2021 which might sound weird for so many of you because 2021 is not that year that you really want to remember forever but for me 2021 has been a special year and that's why i'm glad that that big day took place in 2021 like you can imagine it was in the middle of the pandemic which most of you are like why should one go through a wedding during a pandemic yeah but um we had our reasons we have our reasons and um it's up to everyone uh anyway to choose when and how they want to celebrate their day for us we always wanted something small something intimate and that's exactly what we got not as small uh not so small we really don't didn't want it to be that micro but it was uh, perfect it was perfect and it, today i don't want to show you like a vlog of the day uh, but more i want to just give you steps and points and guidelines on how to go about um, having a wedding during a pandemic in germany and you're gonna find out what you need how to go about it and what are maybe the advantages and disadvantages please stay tuned and without further ado let's get straight to it <music> Maybe to your engagement, who knows? Maybe you're just curious on how it would go having such a big ceremony uh, during these uh, difficult times of the corona pandemic. So let's assume that you and your other better half have decided this is the time we want to tie the knot and let's go for it. So the first thing you need to do is call because we don't just go visit offices now during the pandemic without any prior appointment or communications no you call you call take your telephone and you call the office which office you call the standestamt in your region okay in my in my case my husband and i were not living together so i had a different um standard office and he had a different standard office but he's the one who made the calls he called of the area where he lives and then he told him what we wanted and that we would like to get an appointment for for our wedding day um what we need and how we need to go about it and the lady was very very friendly and she sent us a, a list of things that we need to do 
Um, and before that, he she asked uh, my husband a few questions on the phone, like, um, how you, are you both Germans? And uh, were you married before? And such questions. And that's why, according to the information that she gathered, she made a list of things that we needed, which was very helpful because you had like a list of things which you could just tick, 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 tick. And uh, for the for for the man, um, because my husband was married before, he had to bring these things with him, okay, or not bring, send these things to the standista, to the civil office. First of all, he needed to need his, he needed to uh, have a copy of his identification card of his ID, personal Ausweis. Secondly. Uh, since he is German and was born in German, he needed to have a copy of uh, from the birth register of yeah the place where he was born. So he had to call there and ask them to make for him a copy of the birth register where he was registered as born. Thirdly, he needed to get a copy of the marriage register from the place where he got married before. And fourthly, he needed to bring an extended um, registration certificate, which is like the Erweiterte Meldebescheinigung, which you get from the Anmeldeamt, like a normal Anmeldebescheinigung, but this one is a little bit extended, Erweitert. Good. When it came to me, I needed the following things. Since I am German now, I have a German personal Ausweis. That means I also needed to uh, send a copy of my identification card, my personal Ausweis. Uh, secondly, since I was not born in Germany, there is nowhere they could go and ask for the copy of the birth register. No. So I had to get my birth certificate translated and certified, which costs like 50 euros uh, like in average. And uh, that is important because it will be, it will not just be translated, but it will also be satisfied to be glaubit und übersetzt. Yeah. And the other thing, um, they had to get in contact with the Ausländer Behörde to make sure that the birth certificate was tested of its originality. And if it was not tested of its originality, they would have to go to the, to the Kenyan uh, consulate in Nairobi and they would have to test and make sure that the birth certificate has been proved of its yeah echtheit its realness its um god the english language is just flown <laughs> from my head yeah of its legitimacy i would say yeah i think there is a word i'm just not getting it all right so ah uh, yeah and this process of contacting Nairobi and getting to make sure that my birth certificate was of original, uh, oh, to make sure that my birth certificate is origin, original would take up to six months, imagine, so yeah. And the other thing I needed to bring was, of course, this extended Anmeldi Bishanigum from the unmediumed. So those are the things, personal things, which the man and the woman needed to bring according to where they come from. And I just gave you this um, example of my husband and I, because these are the things I know. Maybe for you and your husband, if you are both foreign, you will need a whole different um, list of things that you need. Maybe if you're both Germans, you need a different, so it, it depends on what kind of people you are. Were you married before? Were you not? Are you from the Were you born in Germany? And so on and so forth. Good. 
So for me, I was lucky enough. My my birth certificate certificate was legitimate, legitimized as original, and uh, the process took really almost no time at all. I got the reply very quickly because the Auslander they already said they already did the um, the checking and everything is okay, good. So apart from this list, you need to fill in a form, and in this form. It's all about saying that you, as a person, are of age and you want to get married out of your own will and you are in your sound mind. This is a document which usually is signed when you are at the Standesamt, but due to the pandemic, you cannot just travel to the Standesamt, the civil office, you just, you, you just get sent it um, at home and you sign it and send it back okay and apart from the form sorry you will also need a form for your trout soige if you want to have trout soige for your wedding which is by the way not necessary it's not a must you don't have to have witnesses anymore but if you want to you also need to write their names and what your relationship is and sign because it's also important so another thing you need is a uh, pay uh, depending on what kind of religion you want your marriage to be registered in if it's Christian Buddhism Islam whatever you will have to pay a fees of 250 to 350 in our case we pay 250 so you uh, they give you a bank, a bank account where you do the transferring of the money and it's done. Another thing you need is choose a book, it's like a booklet where your uh, marriage certificate will be put into. And they give you a variation of different designs where you choose from. They have a range of prices ranging from 15 to 30 euros and you can choose one of these um, designs and say, bam, that's the one you want. It's really just a sense of preference and uh, taste. <laughs> so, so if you have all those things together, the lady or the gentleman from the civil office is going to give you a call. I don't know if giving a call is the main way, but for us, they gave us a call. I think they always do give calls. So they give you a call and they'll be like, all right, everything is ready. So when do you want to get married? and uh, they give you options of dates and like you can imagine many people who wanted to get married in 2021 had to postpone their weddings because it's not easy to get people together it's not even legal to get people together during a pandemic so many people postponed their weddings and they they have like many free dates and uh, it's not difficult to get an appointment anymore like it was before it was it was not it was not difficult so for us we were like when is it possible and they're like whenever you want and we're like even in like three weeks and yeah from the day we got the appointment it was three weeks to our wedding day which was for us no problem at all because it's a pandemic we are just going to be like four people there is nothing like sending invitations there is nothing like organizing a venue there's nothing like getting all these uh, everything together and uh, all the stress of a normal wedding <sighs> no the only thing we needed is just get our cute clothes together get myself a cute dress my husband a good nice suit for our children and uh, our witnesses which which was which were the parents of my husband uh, organized that they just come over a day before and that's all and having it all together there came the big day and on that day when you get into the uh, into the standesamt the couple the two of you will get inside and this is the first day you get to see this standesamt you've never seen her before you've always had her on the phone so it will be like oh it's nice to put a face on the voice that i've been hearing all these years yeah so um the first thing you do is you get to resign the documents that you had signed before because she, you were signing be, she was not there she could not really say it was you she could not say it was with your free will how 
So yeah, you sign those documents again, it becomes completely official and then you go to the ceremony room. In the ceremony room, you have two chairs, we had two chairs in the middle and uh, two chairs are uh, like two meters apart on both sides and then at the at the back there were also some at the back there were also some chairs to be seen and since it was me my husband our kids and um the witnesses oh shati no wow wie denn? Wie soll ich jetzt reden? So yeah, the, the service, the ceremony took like 15 to 20 minutes, which was perfect because if it were any longer and the people are there with their masks, it would have been horrible, horrible. So yeah, it was perfect the way it was. It was just perfect. Afterwards, we were just outside. It was beautiful weather. Uh, clear blue skies the sun was out it was just an amazing day we had already ordered some lunch for home we had also ordered some dinner we had we went even for a walk in the forest on that day it was just all in all a completely <laughs> intimate beautiful perfect day for us and if it were for you um let me know at the comments below if you consider such um such a time for such a big day or if it's for you and not go well why should you anyway <laughs> yeah it's everyone their own um decision and i just would like to know what your decision is yeah thank you so much for watching this far if you've not subscribed please do i wish you all the best please stay safe uh, stay blessed and optimistic until then ciao